four years ago, this was the road to a dream. The dream to provide low-cost, emission-free energy from a plentiful resource. Hot rocks. I've always had the conviction that we can make this happen, harvesting the heat from the hot granites down below. I mean, how good is that? Yeah, we're looking at the uh, future for cheap, abundant baseload power. It's theoretically a simple process of injecting water down one very deep hole and bring it out of another at 200 degrees centigrade or more, hot enough to drive a steam turbine. Why do we invest in this project with Petrotherm? Because we believe in it. Today, this is no longer the road to a dream. It's the road to reality. The road to clean energy for future generations. Four kilometres below this drilling rig lies a potential thermal resource that could conceivably generate upwards of 13,000 megawatts of electricity. To put it in perspective, that's about half the current average daily demand for Australia's national electricity market. Natural renewable energy from the earth, totally free from any carbon emissions to secure Australia's energy future. It was these hot springs 600 kilometres northeast of Adelaide, on the eastern flanks of the Flinders Ranges, that inspired geologist Peter Reid to undertake further research of the area. We knew that the Paralina hot springs were being heated by the hot granites that surround them, and we postulated that those same hot granites extend east under the plains, where we may find large shallow geothermal resources. At Petrotherm, we're trying to find shallow hot rocks close to market. Previous seismic data captured as a result of oil exploration in the area, combined with the drilling of a test well, gave the Petrotherm team confidence in their initial assumptions. Further seismic activity and the drilling of a second test well brought the realisation that theory was about to become reality. So this was a really exciting time for Petrotherm. The measured heat flows here are some of the highest within Australia. And this well confirmed that with temperature gradients of 50 degrees plus per kilometre. Not only that, this well also provided us with a confirmed target for the next stage of the project. So the next stage in the process of proving the technology requires funding and expertise. And uh, that's where our joint venture partners come into the equation. Uh, both Beach Petroleum and True Energy have enormous knowledge and capability that they bring to the project. It fits where our core skills are. We drill holes in the earth in the oil and gas industry, we pull fluids up, we get economic value from the fluids. Oil, gas, in this case, heat. It ticks that box and it ticks all the other boxes. Closeness to markets, markets with demand for baseload power, everything. At True Energy, we're looking to invest more in renewable technologies so that we can lower the level of carbon intensity in the electricity generation that we produce. This is an opportunity with Petrotherm and Beach to get in at the ground level with one of the most exciting sources of baseload renewable generation that we see in the market today. By now the stage was set for phase three of the project, drilling the injection and extraction wells. And when we're talking a drill depth of around 4 k's, that meant bringing in the big guns. The only rig up to the task? the Latorno Lightning. Shipped into Australia, trucked in long convoys and assembled on site. 80 containers worth. 4Ks down there is the target we're after with this rig. We're looking for sedimentary rocks at around 200 degrees centigrade. And they've been heated by the hot body of granite that's underlaying them. Once we reach the target, we inject water under pressure and then we wait. The theory is that the water will fracture the sedimentary rock above the hot granites and act as a natural underground heat exchange unit. Water in, very hot water out through an extraction well. Hot enough to convert thermal energy into electrical energy through a binary cycle power station. This is very close to a perpetual motion machine because at depth we've got the hot rocks are constantly producing the heat. Once the water's produced to the surface, we re-inject it down again. These wells will run for about 20 years, and it's a very large area, it's a large resource. We can produce power for many hundreds of years. The Petrotherm advantage is not just vested in the project's technical capabilities. Paralana's close proximity to markets will realise significant commercial benefits. 
In the short term, Petrotherm has signed a memorandum of understanding with Heathgate Resources, operator of the Beverly Uranium Mine, to provide top-up power to the mine. We're focused on Four Mile East at the moment, that's where we've moved from Beverly. But from there we'll look to expand some of the other uh, resources we have. With those expansions we'll see an increase of the plant, increase the plant, increase power requirements. That's what we're looking at Petrotherm for and the added benefit of that is it's zero carbon. In the longer term, Paralana has the potential to supply large-scale baseload power via 275,000 volt lines into the national electricity market through Port Augusta and Olympic Dam. Given the enormous amount of energy required for BHP's Olympic Dam operation and Oz Minerals' prominent hill mine alone, the future is unlimited. Look, this gives us an opportunity to be a world leader in producing totally emission-free power that's continuous. And so I think this is like, it's fantastic for South Australia, but it's great for the country and puts us in a world leadership position. Petrotherm's Paralana Geothermal Project. The right resource, the right people, the right technology and the right commercial strategy to provide clean energy for Australia's future generations.